Jenny Raymond. This is the unexpurgated version of her workshop. At the moment I'm standing in the grander end, so to speak, uh, because every so often when I'm here, and the husband occasionally does wonder if I ever come home, this is where I teach. I do one-day workshops in Emsworth, and I teach in this room and an adjacent one. And in this room, on the wall, are various pieces of work. For instance, behind me is the Texturing Sudoku quilt. Going to do a DVD on that, coming out sometime soon, so watch out for it. On this side, we have one of my better pieces of work. It features a whole load of different ways of twiddling, fiddling, nipping and tucking. And then over there is one of the quilts from the Foley Roly book, because I write books, have written indeed about seven, plus a variety of patterns. Now, on the table, actually, is what will possibly be the latest pattern. This involves a Christmas tree tablecloth, wall hanging, do what with it what you like, could even be turned into a bed quilt. It also comes with Christmas crackers, which double up as table mats if you so desire. You could indeed use the design for a table runner. And there we have the table runner. And I even thought of a Christmas tree skirt. Now, I was teaching not that long ago, a place called Dunford House in Midhurst, and I showed the assembled throng all these things and showed them the Christmas tree skirt. And I lifted it up and I said, this is the Christmas tree skirt. And one lady said, how do you get the Christmas tree through the hole? Now, I'll let you ponder that very difficult point, but let me give you a clue. Lay the cloth down first. Do you get the idea? Also on this table happens to be a pile of stuff that's over here that is the stuff that I'm just collecting for a lecture I'm about to dash off and do. Because in addition to teaching, writing books, I travel around the world lecturing. Now, this is the posh side to the workshop, but you really want to see the inner sanctum. And the inner sanctum is, as I am today, no cleaning, no nothing. It is how I really, really am. Hair frizzy, no makeup, chatty old jeans, chatty old trainers, Catty Jersey, come with me into my inner sanctum and see what I really look like when I'm at home. You are very privileged. This is the inner sanctum. This is where it all happens. On the odd occasion when I actually get time to sit down and sew, I sit here and sit at my sewing machine. And I have to confess that of all the things in the house, that get tidied and dusted regularly, this gets done the most. Because to me, it is a very important part of my life. And I sit here sewing away at various samples. Now, poor old current husband, he would so wish that his wife would do things for him, like repair his shirts. And you have no idea of how long this shirt has been waiting. And every so often I get it out, fold it up, and try and get round to mending it. Does it happen? Of course it doesn't because I'm much more inclined to sit there creating a variety of new items, like this little waistcoat that features tucks down the front and the bias effect and trumpets on the back. And those are some of the ideas from the books that I've written. And behind me, you might be able to spot some cardboard boxes. Books, lots of them. At the moment, we haven't got that many in store because we're sort of in between publications. On the back of me here, the rack. Ah, the rack. This cave contains all the things that I find really useful. It's got my felting stuff for the felting machine. It's got various fabrics and things. It's got my notions. It's got my threads. And of course, as you can see, it's wonderfully tidy. At the back of me here, underneath this curtain, is some of the things that I've created over the years. These were all made on the overlocker. And those of you who are very astute and watching this carefully will notice that the smallest section is probably devoted to the overlocker, because really I'm a sewing machine fan. This is just spare class samples. Here you've got a sampler quilt that I did. Now, what's behind the other curtain? Allow me to show you. These curtains are very useful because they conceal all the mess that's usually in my workshop. Behind this one, we have a whole load of more items. Various bits and bobs that I created early days that I use in my lectures. This is Jenny Raymond when she's really early. Things like the stuffed Christmas tree. I mean, every international quilter has always made a stuffed Christmas tree. Then you've got a variety of various patchwork samples, because I'm now back very much into doing patchwork. Then there is my fabric stash. 
and as every quilter knows, the most vital part of a workshop, the fabric stash. Sometimes I tidy it, sometimes it's colour coordinated, but there are many other times it just ends up as a complete muddle. And behind the last curtain, I keep one or two of the quilts, cushion covers, jackets, waistcoats, you name it, that I've made over the years. And this just features a very small fraction of the stuff I have created. Sadly, in our house, you always find, if you open a cupboard, there's yet more quilts and things fall out. Now, probably my most useful piece of kit. This is the exercise bike. And you'll find me on this about 5 to 5.30 every night, pedalling away. And as I pedal, I do the crossword. I'm a cryptic crossword girl because I can't cope with Sudoku because I can't, can't count to more than about five. So I sit here pedalling away. Now, on this part of the workshop, we have the cutting mat and the table. This is an old map table, and I find it extremely useful because it's exactly the right height. All the boxes and things stored down there are my teaching things. So if you look to the very far of the screen, you can actually see all those boxes. Now, I said this was warts and all. Admire the floor. Don't very often actually hoover the floor in here, and if I walk backwards slightly, you can see the delightful mess upon the floor. So there you go. That's Jenny Raymond at home, warts and all, her workshop.